Hello everyone, this is Luama Baba from Ministry of Education, Ethiopia. I'm working as a PMU coordinator for Washington schools. Before I'm passing to uh, the presentation, I would like to um, uh, welcome you all uh, for this event. I'm so grateful to be part of this uh, big event and presenting uh, greatest accomplishment of Ethiopia. Let's go back to our outline. The, in this presentation, we are focusing on the minimum school wash package program of Ethiopia and also wash and school greatest accomplishment regarding the coordination and system strengthening, wash operational maintenance, wash financing. Then uh, will be followed by challenge and uh, next action plan. So the minimum school wash package program in Ethiopia is that includes the software and hardware component. So when it comes to uh, the software component, uh, there are so many different kind of disability uh, types. So to uh, promote the science and promotion by using uh, brails or the um, sign language is part of it. When it comes to the inclusive uh, hardware component or uh, school um, uh, facility, school wash facility should be accessible for uh, Age, small the uh, small age students and also person with disability students so when you come to the hardware component we are focusing we are saying that water supply facilities um, sanitation facilities hygiene uh, hygiene facilities water supply uh, regarding the source pipeline or water harvesting spring or uh, groundwater uh, hand hand up well, shallow well or deep well uh, the other is sanitation facilities, latrine and urinals is part of the sanitation facilities with waste management like incinerator and soca away pit is part of it. The other is hygiene facilities, and the hand washing facility and the matching facilities with the dignity kit is part of the hygiene facility. When you come to software components, the inclusive software components is um, comprehensive in uh, edit ed ed of school and behavioral change uh, to uh, in the, to end open defecation, to um, uh, introduce and to be a lifetime skill for uh, hand washing with FAP, menstrual hygiene health, um, and safe water management with man management by using those um, soak away or incinerators. Uh, school lead total sanitation, strengthening school wash platforms, these are part of the software components. When it comes to Ethiopian greatest accomplishment, we are proudly to um, present this uh, regarding the coordination system strengthening. The four sector ministries are signing a wash implementation agreement, uh, framework agreement uh, with and MOU uh, regarding wash uh, to, to implement together uh, with Ministry of Education, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Water and Energy, and Ministry of Finance. So after this, uh, Agreements signed. Uh, the string committee is established. This the string committee led by the ministers of four sector ministries. So after that, the One Wash National Program is established. This One Wash National Program have five pillars: the uh, urban wash, rural wash, CR wash, capacity building wash, and institutional wash. Uh, schools and health facilities will be fall under institutional wash. So the other is advocacy and evidence. Uh, mechanisms are also established. The first is MHH advocacy events. Yearly, we are celebrating the MHH uh, advocacy event. And also, as you'll know that MHH facility as constructed in schools, in every schools. So uh, the emergency part should be in place. But currently, the cost of the MHH facility, the um, sanitary part is costly. So Her Excellency, uh, the President of Ethiopia, Talor Zaudi, uh, initiated this uh, tax exemption um, process. And finally, uh, now uh, any uh, raw material for production of uh, reusable or disposable uh, sanitary part is with zero exemption rates uh, are incurred in Ethiopia. The other is a multi-stakeholder forum on wash, including uh, institutional wash, is celebrating once in a year. Um, this is uh, another uh, a great accomplishment of Ministry of Education is that 3,000 schools are studied underground water by from the Treasury budget of the Ministry of Education. This is a great initiation from the government of Ethiopia. The other is COVID-19 have a good uh, one of uh, the good side of the COVID-19 is most of the schools uh, have a get access to water and hand washing facilities with different innovative hand washing stations. When it comes to uh, wash uh, uh, 
uh, in schools, uh, Ministry of Education in S uh, Educational Strategy and Development Plan 5, take it as uh, a cross-cutting issue. This is also one part of the good part. The other is um, to implement the wash facility in the school there. We are developing so many documents. So uh, the strategic and implementation guideline, um, school wash design and construction manual, software and hardware documents are developed as you uh, can see from the list. Uh, I need to uh, discuss about the revision of uh, wash in school design and construction manual. Um, part new in this re re revised version of the design and construction manual is that the MHM facility is introduced and also geological formation are also uh, have option if if it is normal soil or if it is uh, rocky or if it is a uh, swampy area there is different different options are introduced and also different technology options are also compiled in one document uh, like uh, for compost type for vip latrines or for poor flesh uh, latrines part also part of this the other is um um cultural diversity also part of this cultural diversity uh, for Muslims and for Christian uh, students is also into consideration there there are so many of uh, consideration are included with um, more than 300 uh, design drawings architectural structural uh, electrical and also um, BOQ are part of this document this is uh, the MHM or safe space design. Uh, this is one block with four compartments or units, uh, waiting room, consulting room, uh, restroom with, uh, hand, with bath have um, this uh, facility. So this is inclusive for a person with disability and also it have its own tanker as you see from the picture. This is the revised version of the thin seat lottery. This is more accessible for persons with disabled and also uh, the water uh, hand, hand washing station or water drinking drink, drinking water station also part of the new design. this is the new option the uh, other options for well, schools don't have uh, water access this is the compost type uh, latch this is the incinerators that will be talking about the with the barrel and with the ring road concrete ring road this is the MHM club with uh, involvement of boys to ensure the sustainability and also to stop the teasing of girls is if you are uh, putting those boys into part of these um, clubs that will be improved and they will understand the uh, problem or the when they are in pain and they, are, they will be responsible for this one are developed when you come to operation and maintenance management training manual um, so this manual uh, is to ensure the sustainability of the wash parcel facilities, uh, how to operate, how to manage, and how to um, maintain is listed uh, across all the uh, school wash manuals, uh, water, latrine, and methane, hand washing stations, and solid and liquid waste management mechanisms is also uh, explained. Uh, the role and responsibilities of uh, school community, PTAs, um, di director, district, zone is um, uh, developed and also the supply chain solution for maintenance and referral system. If it is beyond the capacity of the school community, how can we they refer is also um, uh, mentioned on the document. When you come to wash financing, as I mentioned, one wash national program, CWA account is created. This one wash consolidated wash account is 85% uh, from developmental partners and 15% from government of Ethiopia contribution is part of it. So um, uh, on the developmental partner bank, uh, part, World Bank, UNICEF, ADB, African Developmental Bank, uh, bank COICA, Finland government, United Arab Emirates, and more than nine um, developmental partners is part of it. So uh, one plan, one budget, one report is a logo of this uh, project. Uh, you have four, two phases. In phase one, more than five, 500 million US city is uh, um, uh, in, on the pool fund, uh, allocated on the pool fund, 15% from government and 25 uh, partners. So out of this, 12% is um, from, um, for washing schools. So by, by this, 3,000 schools are benefited with full wash package. 
and the other in phase two, uh, more than uh, 7,000 uh, million USD are allocated, and it will be benefited 1,400 schools. So in phase two, climate resilience wash is introduced, and also inclusive and equity wash program is part of uh, this program. This, pro, uh, this um, is exemplary program because the harmonized effort among dictators to be reach more schools with equality and integrated, integrated monitoring system. That is, uh, the other thing is um, this kind of approach attract more donors to be part of this uh, multi-sectoral approach. One of the challenges we are facing is uh, that the inadequate budget allocation from the government, from the school community, uh, no uh, low enforcement mechanism for um, for uh, construction and implementation activities, lack of comprehensive loan, focusing on the behavioral change is um, not that much com comprehensive. Uh, taboos around uh, arounding, uh, the menstruation is still a taboo, um, inclusive, including uh, Washington school in Ethiopian curriculum is also still in process. Um, low uh, private uh, partnership involvement, um, poor quality of uh, monitoring and evaluation reporting in MIS also part of our challenge. So the way forward is focusing on the behavioral change uh, on the coming years, improving wash coverage through mapping water source to schools, uh, like the 3,000 schools uh, studied by the Ministry of Education, a strengthening washing club uh, and platform that link with community uh, to ensure uh, implementation of comprehensive long-term SBCC uh, interventions, uh, ensure the cascading of wins training for implementers. It's also part of it. Um, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.